Hello Internet, my name is Hazel from Hazel Nutty Games. It is actually Saturday. Today is November the 14th. November is like halfway over and I haven't even noticed it. I think it's because the first week was like taken up by BlizzCon. But it's just like sneaking right by me. It's gonna be Christmas before we know it. And it is vlog time! This week, over this past week, we have had a very exciting week as far as Legion news. Because they have released the class preview blogs. They have released an individual blog, one for each class. The details in fairly good detail. Uh, the things that they want to do, the sort of direction that they want to take with each uh, spec on the board. So we have a lot of cool information. I'm not going to get into too much detail right here in this vlog. I do want to do videos that go over eat the changes coming to each spec and kind of what those might mean for PvE and PvP. I'm only, they appear to be taking me longer than I thought they would though, so I'm only going to do really in-depth ones for classes that I already know a lot about, things like Shadow Priest and Arrestor Druid, because that's what I play all the time, but I'm going to look into getting videos done for more of the specs as time goes on. And uh, yeah, some, the most cool information that we got was that rogues, um, combat rogues are now going to be outlaw rogues, and they have all sorts of cool new abilities like grappling, where they can like actually hook shot their way to a target. Uh, that we're going to have, they, they expounded a little bit on the whole dis priest damage healing thing. I'm still not really sure how that's going to work out, but I guess we're going to see. Uh, and we found out more about like the new Shadow Priest resource and how, how building insanity and like going into void form. Um, it's sort of in the same way that Metamorphosis used to work. We found out a little bit more about that. So lots of cool information. Definitely if you somehow have not managed to read those blogs, or at least the ones for your class, I definitely re recommend going and giving those a read there on Battle.net. And uh, yeah, that was really good. Uh, it has made me very, very pumped for Legion and very pumped for the Legion beta. Unfortunately, Legion is not going to be for another minimum of seven months, which is a long time. Um, maybe it'll blow right by me too. I don't know. Um, and then beta, we don't know yet when beta is. They, Muffin has tweeted the word soon and I got really excited that maybe that meant they were going to get beta out right away. And it turns out what that actually meant was gnome hunters. They had managed to add gnome hunters to the, uh, to the list of things that you're allowed to make in terms of class and race. So, well, that is super exciting because gnomes, they should be hunters. There's no good reason. If goblins can be hunters, no good reason why gnomes should not be able to be hunters. I'm just waiting for gnome druids. Uh, like, I know they won't be like actually druids, but what I want is I want for like, instead of animal forms, I want them to have these little mechanical animal forms that they like either turn into a mechanical animal or maybe they just like have a little suit. They just like put on their little suit to like hop around in like mechanical kitty form. I mean, those models are already in the game. Uh, but that's not actually happening. Just no hunters for now, and that's pretty exciting, but that does mean we don't yet have any kind of date or time frame or any sort of idea of when the beta is going to be. All we can hope for is soon, but in the meantime, lots of information has come out of these class previews, so that should keep us busy for a while. Also, in news that is coming up fairly soon, uh, patch 6.2.3, which is presumably going to be the last major patch we're getting until the pre-patch for Legion, which is not going to be for ages and ages and ages, so 6.2.3, is going to be out on Tuesday, so it's going to be out in like three days. Uh, it is adding a number of new things. One of them is Valor upgrades, meaning that if you're a raider, if you're a dungeoner, uh, if you PvE, generally speaking, uh, you will be able to farm Valor points from doing things like dailies and dungeons. I think dailies. Uh, definitely dungeons and raid finder for sure. And um, we'll give you Valor points and you can use those to upgrade your gear a number of times, just like we were able to do in the end of Missa Pandaria. Uh, and through all of the raiders going and doing that and upgrading their gear, that's going to give us another, what, 10 item levels or so? And that should be sort of like an effective kind of nerf to Hellfire Citadel if your guild is still struggling on any individual boss, that's there to look forward to. Um, in terms of speaking, rather, speaking of Hellfire Citadel, they're going to be adding a moose. Um, I've already talked about this before, but the Grove Warden Mount will be available on Tuesday. Uh, if you get a, hel a heroic... Archimond kill, you will be able to loot an item off him that you then, uh, it gives you a quest, you go and turn in that quest in Moonglade? Is that what it's called? Moonglade? The place with all the druids that you can like teleport to as a druid. I should know I'm a druid. Um, you have to go turn in that quest in Moonglade, they're gonna give you a dope moose, big moose mount, uh, which is very exciting, and, uh, we're also getting Warlords of Draenor Season 3, so Season 2 is going to be ending on, uh, Monday night, I guess, is going to be the end of it. Um, when things roll over and servers go down on Tuesday, that's going to be the end of that. Uh, so your rating will lock in your titles and whatever, and then we're going to be starting Season 3. Um, it's undecided. I mean, it's not undecided. It's unclear. They're, generally speaking, in the history of WoW and PvP seasons rolling over, there's always been this little break, like a two-week break between the end of one season and the beginning of another one where they... Uh, disqualify all the cheaters, or as many of them as they can find. They hand out all the titles. Um, 
and sort of finalize everything. And a lot of PVPers are very used to having that two week break that you don't necessarily need to be queuing for, sort of catch up on things. But there was a tweet saying that WAD season three will be starting immediately after season two ends. And if that means that season three is starting on Tuesday, then that is going to be, you know, no break. We're just getting right into it. Of course, the, if you've already got a full set of Conquest gear, there will be no need to grind honor gear. Uh, the new honor gear is the same item level as existing Conquest gear, so you can just go right back into farming Conquest points to get the next Conquest gear, which I believe is only a 10 item level upgrade, so not a huge upgrade, but enough of an upgrade that you're going to want to do it, obviously. And uh, that is that. What else are they adding in 6.2.3? We have Time Walking Dungeons. They're adding Cataclysm Time Walking, so that's going to be another event on the rotation. Uh, you're going to be able to, through Cataclysm Time Walking, access uh, Grim Patol, Stone Core, Tolvir, uh, Vortex Pinnacle, Throne of Tides, and End Time, which I'm really excited about because I loved End Time. That is such a cool dungeon. Uh, they're also adding Pit of Sauron to the Northrend Time Walking thing, and then Magister's Terrace is going to be tapped right on to the Burning Crusade one. So more Time Walking dungeons overall, which is good news if you are a pve -er and you're kind of bored and you're sort of done with Hellfire, or maybe you didn't want to do it in the first place, but you want more stuff to do, there are going to be some new dungeons to work through in terms of... Um, Time walking, which is good if you're going for those time walking rewards. There's like mountains and stuff now that I'm going to look at one day when I need something to do because I can't even think about it right now. I got too much to do. So all of those things are going to be coming on Tuesday. So that's kind of exciting. It's been a, sort of a neat news week. Uh, in personal news, I've been not a whole lot. I've been doing my normal thing. I've been PvPing. I've been meaning to make gingerbread cookies. And I'm in this like constant battle of I kind of want to eat gingerbread cookies I really don't want to get up and go make them because then it's like a lot of work you gotta like make the dough and then you gotta chill the dough and then you gotta wash the dishes and then you gotta like bake the cookies and like roll them out and then, and then you gotta like cut them all and then you gotta bake them and then you gotta like decorate them and I kind of want to decorate them all like cute and make like maybe Warcraft gingerbread cookies but really all I want to do is eat gingerbread cookies and I'm not sure if the amount of effort to make gingerbread cookies is worth that but damn it I want gingerbread cookies I'm probably gonna make those like now like I don't see why not. I've talked about all the stuff. Yeah, cool. If you have any questions you would like to ask me on a future vlog, just leave them as a comment on the most recent vlog. I don't think I got any on the most on the last one. Let me double check. I don't think I checked right before I started this. Hang on just a moment. No questions. All right, cool. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer, I'll leave them as a comment on the most recent vlog. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to go make some cookies.